Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I hope you guys had an awesome week so far. It's definitely getting cold outside and rainy and wet, so fall is definitely in the air, um, which is a great time to journal. Today I'm gonna work in my passport journal. It's definitely one of my favorite journals. They're so small and so easy to fill and I'm almost on my third one. I'm so excited, I can't even believe I'm almost on three of these ones. So if you haven't tried a tiny journal, I really recommend it. I don't know the brand of this one that I'm using, but um, um, usually I make my own journals, but this one I had for so long, so I started using these ones and I'm almost on the third one, so I'm not sure if I'm going to buy more or maybe just make my own because I normally just make my own, so um, we'll see when this one's done. So for the first page, I wanted to try some of my highlighters. I haven't, I've never used highlighters in my journals like with the water kind of technique, so I thought it would be fun. Um, that flower die cut was so pretty and the highlighters were like right on my desk So I thought I thought I would just test them out and it turned out so nice. So I'm happy with that and then um, I just wanted to add a couple pictures of my dad with my nieces when they were younger and Then the one photo I had already cut it down as much as I possibly could so I needed a little border So I'm just using white copy paper um, to create a white border which looks so cool um, I love a white border or a black border with bright colored background. So it looks super nice and then I'm just going to use some of my favorite washi tape, which is just um, a handwriting one with some diagrams on it. It kind of offsets the bright colors, so it looks really nice. And then I'm just going to tape down the other photo, so it's a tip up that tip in that flips up, which I haven't done one of those in a while, so um, I really like that look so far. And then I'm just going to find a quote, and I have I had this gigantic book of quotes that were on vellum from like my scrapbooking days, like years and years and years ago. Um, so I'm try just trying to use those ones up, and then I'm just going to add. Um, and 017 for October 17th and then yeah so that's pretty much it for that page for the second page I'm gonna use another four four inches by six inches photo and then I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit just so I can have um, a little bit more of the background showing and I didn't, I'm just gonna use a black and white earth kind of washi tape for this one I love washi tape oh my goodness I have a problem <laughs> um, but the black and white ones are so so fun and it creates such a different look um, from page to page if you use black and white ones. Um, since I use a lot of color I do try to kind of offset pages by just using washi tape that are simple and with hardly in no color so it kind of looks it, I just like the way that looks so for this photo it's just one of us one of our family photos from up north I didn't know what how I wanted to put the quote yet so I thought I'd test out a couple different ideas for the background and I ended up just using a white one and then I thought it would be kind of cool if I just did some handwriting with the quote I think it's really cool to have your own handwriting and things so Especially back in the day when we used to like pen pals and we always wrote our letters. I just like the look of that so I thought I would kind of add that into my journal. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of stickers um, just for the date again, October 17th. For the last page, I'm just going to keep it super simple as well. I'm going to try to use my marker trick again. Um, can never get enough of that. And then I had that, I found that um, little standout little um, card I guess a um, long time ago on the floor at my work and I was like oh my goodness I can put that in my journal so I just never knew what, where to put it so finally I'm gonna put it into my quote journal and it works so nice and I love the green and yellow together so I'm just gonna use my marker trick here and we use my heat gun just to kind of dry it up quickly um, saving time you know <laughs> um, but I really like that how that looks so I needed to find a quote that also matched that and then I needed to have something for the background of that little um, card that I found with the draft on it that says stand out. So I thought I would just cut out a little piece of copy paper and then do that watercolor trick again um, just with yellow this time. And then the quote would go over it. Since the quote was green, I thought the yellow would be a nice background. And I did not erect the little page with the draft on it just because I thought it would maybe warp. So I thought the, the white um, copy paper would just be perfect for that and it turned out really well. So I'm very happy with that and yeah. I did have to cut it down a little bit just so that it would fit properly but definitely a trick I'm going to remember for other little pages like that. So um, really love that yellow. I think maybe I should have added a little more dark green in there but 
um, that's okay. So then I just made it into a tip-in and then I'm just going to add a little photo and um, some more little stickers. Um, the stickers are just going to say be you because it says stand out and like I love that. So I thought I'd share a little close up with that. And then I found these super cute photos of my nieces and oh, they're the cutest kids. So i um, definitely just going to keep it very simple. And then the last little thing for the stickers for the date. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a couple ideas for your journals. And I'll see you guys all next Friday for another video. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye. Thank you.